Well, welcome to another episode of the Youth Nation podcast. It is 10.30 at night. We just got done with Rhythm Night. And by the grace of God, Mr. Forrest Frank, at, right. from, from Come platform on. to podcast, Come baby. On. That's a sermon That's right a there. That's a sermon right there, baby. Hey, I'm bro. stoked to be here. Dude, we are so glad to have you, bro. This is going to be fun. I can't really see you right now. Here we go. Here we go. There yeah, we go. Yeah, right. Bro. JT's a big eyesight guy. I'm a so big yeah. eye No, contact. I feel you. I feel you. We, I feel like we all day we've been making pretty good eyes. I know. It's been, it's been solid, bro. I've been, I've been liking it. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Like, hey, do you guys want to have your own podcast right, right. 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 Can y'all head <laughs> out? Just give me and Forrest. I mean, we haven't had the opportunity yet. You know, I've been all day. He's going to be staring at you guys. Yeah. Thank you. Appreciate um, it. Bro, well, thank you again, first of all, for coming and, and singing and pouring into our youth tonight Absolutely. at Rhythm Night. Yeah. I think this is going to go live in March, so it'll be a little while. But, okay. Um, shout out March. Shout out March. Shout out bro. March, man. <laughs> um, bro, that was so. did you have a good time tonight? What did you think? <clears throat> I had a great time. Um, yeah, it was super inspiring just to see. Well, I, I, I think coming from being a musician... And, like, the way that I go about it, like, I make music in my bedroom and then, like, upload it on the internet. And it's just kind of, like, a little bit detached sometimes outside right. of my community. And so seeing that, but then also plugged in with a church mm-hmm. was very special. And it was cool to see the quality that y'all had tonight. It's like, oh, that is a tour, touring-ready band. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, y'all go on tour, you know what I'm saying? Right. But here you are. Pouring into your local community. Right. I thought that was really inspiring. Yeah, thank yeah, you, that's dope, bro. We're so we're so glad to have you. I don't know. Are we allowed to talk about the thing that's happening with rhythm and <laughs> I mean, <laughs> by March. Hey, if if we're not, we'll just have to cut it. We'll out. cut it out. Yeah. yeah. Well, you guys have a a remix of praises coming oh, out, right? Is that what you were getting at? Yeah, that's what I, I, thought, I was like. I was like, what's happening right now? <laughs> <laughs> are y'all breaking? Is the band breaking up? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you guys are tour ready. Yeah, we're yeah, actually that, done. Dude, yeah, I phrased that so yeah. bad. I, I was like, oh my god. Hey, to be should, should, I, about to should I be the one to? to, to his eyes started to get big. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, like, what are you about to say? Yeah, David knows something else, bro. Right. There's something else going on. He's like, yeah, man. I guess we for sure can talk about it. We for sure can. The song's out by now. Yeah. You think so? Hundred yeah. percent. And I mean, if you have anything the, to the say first, about it, the, the the first date that Josh was saying was February twenty sixth. Yeah. Oh, okay. So we're Dude, good. So we're so we're so bad. set. Yeah. We, hope, we hope you love the song. Yeah. It's, it's you know That's it's so out by bad. now. Let's go. We did a little live footage tonight. We too. did. It was fire. It really was. Dude, I, I mean, it's in the in the, in the best way. You got so much swag. Uh, that was the yeah. thing that I was hey. I was not expecting. Yeah. Okay. You know, because I'm like I've I've seen you uh, I've seen your stuff on TikTok, but I was just like, oh man, I wonder if it's just like always camera ready but dude your presence and your persona on stage we had so much fun in run through we were both just freaking you guys vibing, were yeah. vibing yeah. bro and then like and so like i had so much fun so thank you so much for bro, just, i think like, you brought the us. swag out like whatever swag you're even talking <laughs> hey, about you, no you brought way, it out bro. you were hitting the billy vibe bro, it hitting... was in your bones since you were born i can tell bro you were born with the bro, swag in it dude yeah see that. now so we good. have a bromance right that's right i know i'm getting a little jealous i feel you guys on this couch together i'm getting a little jealous honestly <laughs> no, it's so good. But thank you again for coming out, bro. It was a really special night for sure. Um, yeah. But before we go too far into the music and everything that you do, just for the people who don't know, where are you originally from and where are you at now? Yeah, I'm originally from Fulcher, Texas. Fulcher? Where yeah, is that? It's, uh, it's outside of Katy, which is outside of Houston, Texas. Oh, okay. So I always get it. I'm like, gotcha. You know, Katy, and if people don't know, okay, I say, I say. Got it. Okay, dope. Yeah. And then where are you at now? Uh, I'm in Waco, Texas. Waco, and a lot Texas. of people don't know that. That's this is kind of like, oh, so we should kind of an exclusive, really. Uh, you can cut it, you can keep it. I don't care. You heard it he said we can cut it yeah. or we can keep it. Okay, bet. Speaking of how, so how did what, what was your journey to the Lord? Mm. I know we talked about it a little bit today, but yeah. I, I want you to go back into that because that was a cool. And this, uh, oh, again, this is for the youth. So like middle school, high school, okay. college. Yeah. And I think that'd be, like, a really cool story to share. Okay, yeah. Well, uh, I grew up in a, like, Baptist non-denominational home. And so, like, I grew up in the church. And when I was eight, I would say I, like, gave my life to Christ. But I I don't know if I, like, really did. Mm-hmm. Or maybe, maybe I did at that point or something. But fast forward to later in high school, mm-hmm. um, I started to kind of stray from the faith and started to kind of like 
I don't even know. It's like given to like curiosity and then curiosity kind of builds into like temptations and building into temptations and basically just started like giving into sin really. And uh, when I started college specifically, I was like, I want to go into college as like just me. I don't want to be the like good Christian guy. Like I won, like in eighth grade, I won like most representative students. So I've, I was like the very like well put together kid on the outside. Mm-hmm. Then on the inside, I had like struggles and stuff. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I went to college, started like going to parties and just like totally like letting loose. And in that like quest, I just kept getting lower and lower and more depressed and more insecure and Whoa. like just getting all this baggage. And my sophomore year, I remember I was at a coffee shop and I just like heard this voice in my head and it was like, go to church. And it like, it like felt like a good thought, but it like didn't feel like my own. And so I like look up Wednesday night service uh, at this church called Antioch in Waco. And uh, I go, I show up like an hour late and I was just going to pull up in the back and just like sneak in, just like kind of uh, lay to rest, like the idea in my head. I'm like, I'll, just, I'll go to church. I'll sit in the back. And I went in, and our, yeah, yeah, as soon as I opened the door, there's no one in the foyer because like I was late, right? Super late mm. to the service. I opened up the door, and I remember as soon as I walked in the building, whatever baggage was on me like fell off. Bro, like it was like, you know, spiritually protected. Like, I'm sure someone was praying that, like, you know, that place would be full of the Spirit. Yeah. And it was. And I remember just, like, starting to, like, kind of buzz. And I was like, what is this? Whoa. And I, like, made my way into the, to the, you know, the worship night. And what I didn't know is it wasn't a traditional, like, Wednesday night service. Yeah. It was a church-wide three-day fast that was then breaking into a, like, extended like five six hour worship night no way. and, oh, so I, and I, right I jumped it. right in the middle of that it <laughs> no was belly of the beast yeah it was it was like it was dense when Whoa. i walked in and uh a man walked into the upper room and he had no idea. straight <laughs> up right. straight up yeah and i just remember just like falling on my knees and just like crying out to jesus that i needed him and yeah it's like hard not to get emotional right now but that yeah, that hey, that changed my life and like mm. from that moment forward, like that baggage left me. Mm. Not to say it hasn't been a journey of like reconciliation and, you know, dealing with um, my sin, but like I felt genuinely loved and complete mm. in that moment and like totally fulfilled. And, and yeah, literally from that moment, my life has forever been changed. And like wow. I say all the time, all the time, if God told me to delete my Spotify, I would do it right now. Yeah. If God told me to delete my Instagram, I'd do it right now. Yeah. Like none of this matters except for the kingdom and yeah. and Jesus. So Yeah, so kind of in That's that beautiful. journey of like finding your faith, how did you get into music? Oh, wow. Um my mom uh led not led, but she was like kind of like the co-worship leader at our church. It's okay. so like super surrounded by music. Uh my her her mom was a children's music writer. Yeah. So just yeah, music was just like a part of in the family. Our family. Uh not necessarily as like a career path though. Yeah. You know, like it was it was uh you know There's something go to college, do the thing. Yeah. Basically, I was on YouTube and I saw someone making beats on a machine. Okay. Which is you know what a machine is? Yeah, like an MPC or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Same thing. And I saw that and I was like, that looks like so much fun. Yeah. I wanna I wanna get that. And so I got uh, machine micro and from the moment I got that was senior year of high school from the moment I got it game over I was completely hooked you started cooking up so I started cooking dog <laughs> yeah and then I was terrible obviously and then uh yeah freshman year of college like I would like skip out on events to like Take make beats and yeah, stuff yeah. and cook up and I didn't have anybody else to to do it with uh I ended up yeah I don't know I would just, I would just cook up all the time and then sure enough like I guess like fast forward, kind of shorten the story, but like fast forward senior year of college, 
I had literally been working on music like, pro- probably every single day. Okay. And so by then I did like the 10,000 hour rule. Dude, that's the grind. Yeah, yeah. I was like good enough that like it was sounding pretty good. Yeah. And like people were like, yo, can you send me that song you showed me in your yeah, room? Yeah, and like yeah, yeah. all that stuff. And uh, I ended up taking a job out of college. So like I, can, I, I did the career thing. Yeah. And then around that time started like actually like releasing albums and stuff and at then at the same time you had started. your other career going or you're saying like career like music wise yeah i was always kind of like hedging like okay, like, yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like 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 re- like like i want to do this thing but like i want to make sure that you know because i, I want to have a family and yeah. stuff so what so. was the other path if, if music didn't work out it was uh abbott laboratories oh, have you heard geez. of pd light yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so like that's there's like a parent company called abbott okay does like so a bunch of medical right? stuff pharmaceutical okay. nutrition so Dang. That would have been a very different. We've been yeah, very that's, different. That's, where, that's, where, that's where I would have started. I don't yeah. know where I would have ended yeah, up, though. For sure, for sure. Low key, low key, I say this. I probably would have been a massage therapist or a no chiropractor. Way. Yo, that's yes. crazy. Yes. If I had it my way, if I wasn't just trying to, like, right. you know, do the thing. Yeah. Yeah. If I really thought about it, if I didn't do music, I think I would be a massage therapist. Really? Yeah. I was going to ask should... you what fires you up about that, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I want to know. Yeah, we all had the same thought, like, how did he figure out? Right. <laughs> I mean, we already got the He is married. We're on. the kids. Yeah, so, yeah. You know? Might as well. I mean, y'all don't, like, massage your friends? <laughs> oh, I do, for sure. <laughs> it's just, it's just, it's just, a, it's just a quick question. Ask you, you Andrew if we could see Andrew behind the cameras. Yes. You're bragging about it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he must be... <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Whoa. But after this, though, yeah, Forrest probably has like yeah. holy hands. He's like, I feel oh, yeah. the no, Lord really. telling me that like the, the healing. I don't. Right. I don't. I'm. I'm not. I don't want to be trippy. I don't want to like you know do all that stuff. But yeah. like, I, I genuinely like yeah. if I put my hands on your back, I could I could tell where your tension is without me like even like putting it on. Like I could be like, it's right there. I, I feel it. No and, way. And, and, and dude, I could cry. I, I'll I'll cry giving a massage because I feel it. What? Yeah. What? It's very intense. Yeah. That's. Some no way. Yeah, and everyone I've ever given a massage to is, like says that is the greatest massage of my life. Even if it was, I'm not capping. Dude, he's gassing bro, himself. I, I'm not capping, I've never I'm not capping bro. Life. Bro, I guarantee you, if this clips in here, I'm going to have some friends comment, and they'll be like, I, I <laughs> vouch completely for I can vouch for it. For it. This was really? the best massage, yeah. Dude, I think you might be called elsewhere. Bro. I know, bro. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I don't know if, if this ever doesn't work out, yeah. Yeah, I got you. Dude, wow. On the low. What about this as, as, like, uh, as an idea for one of your shows is you just... As you're singing, you just have a line of people. Right. <laughs> just, instead of autographs, he just gives massages. Right. All right. No, here's a trip too. I would never be paid for it though. That's that's the issue. What I, do you mean? Really? It's too pure. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Yeah. This is crazy. <laughs> this bro. is one of the it's greatest things I've ever heard. To be paid for it? I feel like it's less pure if you're not getting paid for it. I don't know. It's like he just, doesn't want to attach. It's you know, like like it's like getting paid it, for worship. It's yeah. like like genuine worship. <laughs> like let's just get to rest. <laughs> Well, it's well, been a great conversation. Yeah. <laughs> You're a sellout. <laughs> That's so crazy. That is one of the I think Jesus said something I've... about like, know, yeah. like, you, like pay the pay the workers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so. yeah, 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 for sure. <laughs> dude, that is that is that is one of the greatest. I don't even yeah. know how to transition from that, dude. I don't either. <laughs> like, I, I want to talk about other stuff, but I kind of I kind of want to be massage. like, hey, can we put a pause? Oh, no, and can I get yeah, him? Yeah. I want to experience. I want to. I want to see him cry. I, I want Forrest to, to be cry, cry. Dude, it, is, it does not take a lot <laughs> to make me cry. <laughs> I cry every day, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, oh, man. Okay, after that, we wrap. We're gonna come back to that. <laughs> <laughs> we got a podcast. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it's just the time of the day. I know, it's, it's late. It's, it's so it's loose. late. We We're really get like three oh. questions. <laughs> Holy cow. What time is so. it? Ten forty-eight. Ten forty-eight. It's not even that late. No, it's not. The kid, you're, this is for the youth. They're like yeah. the night's starting right yeah. now. Yeah. They just hopped on Fortnite, right? Yeah, they're literally. Yeah. <laughs> the movie. Holy the movies. Are, they're starting the movie at midnight. Exactly. <laughs> My gosh, that was incredible. So, uh, so altered. <laughs> <laughs> How'd that come about? <laughs> Love that song. Oh, so <laughs> actually, 2023, brother, was yeah, crazy. A, year. a crazy year for what you. Year yeah. Like, course. actually, we're transitioning from the massage therapy. Yeah. It's, hard, it's hard to let it go, but it is. Go. But we're going we're gonna to move past it. There. 2020 year for 2020. Okay, I can't even speak. That one 2023 20, for Forrest Frank. Crazy year for you, brother. Like, crazy actually, year. Actually, yeah. Dude. And I don't even, I just met you today. But yeah. From the outside, bro, it's insane. Um, and we we talked about like we talked about a little bit about this with Holvey, but yeah, how 
how did how did Alter come about, bro? Because Man. that song went dumb. Yeah. Everywhere. Yeah. I mean, where do I start? I mean, first of all, Hovey, Hovey and Ace like blessed me to to even be a part of that song. Like I'm just so grateful that I even got to touch it. But how it came about, I mean, you already heard he, he already explained the story of like how it right. was like he, made he, he, and stuff. Right. But yeah, I guess Holvey had sent me like we always send ideas back and forth. Right. And he sent me a couple ideas. I'm like, that's good, that's good. There's no bad. It's always good. But I had heard Alter and I was like, dude, this is like crazy. Like I like I just heard my favorite song right now. That's cra- it's crazy. Like someone for someone to just send you your automatic one listen favorite yeah. song. And so he sent me, I don't even, I don't think he, he maybe he had some mumbles on it, or maybe it was just nothing. Maybe it was just the beat. Yeah. And uh I think I just said like also like if you want me to <laughs> I'm pretty <laughs> sure I'm pretty sure yeah, I was yeah. like I, even send I was it like to you to hop on like he was just like sending it to you like yeah because oh, we, 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 we yeah we just send ideas yeah, 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 yeah. and uh I think we at that time we were so stoked on No Longer Bound that we were like we got to do like a collab album which still like could be coming but I think it's important that we like yeah aren't a band yeah. it's like yeah, we're our own yeah, things yeah, I think yeah. I think it's very important so that, that 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 will come but I think we were really stoked about working together yeah and so. Yeah, we just started talking about it, and uh, he said, yeah, like, run a verse. And so he said that on the podcast. I went on a walk, like, just did, like, a yeah. couple laps and came back, and, like, I just, I heard it. So, Dude, Bro, and y'all did so it again. It's freaking, yeah. it, if not bigger, than No Longer Bound. Like, Literally, oh my yeah, God. It's crazy. It's, so it's crazy. crazy. It's still, and it's still climbing, climbing like yeah. crazy. It's, it's bonkers. Yeah. So I feel like you, you and Holvey are such a, like, like I don't want to sound wrong, but like you're such an unlikely duo. Like he, he's 100%, so, like his flow yeah. is so he's such a like hard like rapper, and you're like so smooth with the vocals. Like, yeah. does it make you get in a different bag when you get in the booth with someone that can like really rap like that, or like when you're collaborating with someone that can really rap like that? Like, does it bring a different energy out of you? Totally, you yeah. And I, I, there's something special about Holvey specifically that I feel like I can be there with him. Yeah, I don't know if it's like the the gospel kind of soul sound connection yeah. that we that, that's like the crossover I, I i've said it before i was like we're, we're some kind of like venn diagram yeah you know there's some about? overlap where we have some this weird like overlap that's in the middle yeah. and he i can go like extra happy and i can go like i could do like an acoustic joint where it's just me singing and, and guitar not that yeah. he can't but like it's like he, but he could go like extra hard. hard. And like, so, it, yeah, yeah. It brings so he unique. like his like like slightly lighter side and my slightly darker side. Yeah, kind of exactly. Brings out the best intertwine. Of each other. Yeah, it's so sick. Did that answer your question? Yeah, uh, <laughs> that is exactly what I was trying to get. <laughs> okay, at. Cool, yeah. cool, cool. That is a perfect answer because you're literally like, it. It's so, so it can be so opposite, but somehow they still work together, and that's the beauty of that. Like, how does it work? It's like we don't really know because it shouldn't, but it does, and it comes across so freaking unique and i think yeah. that's why people connect with it so much it's yeah. just like i can listen to it and yet like the opposite of me i don't know if that's like a 13 year old white girl it's still like <laughs> right. you know yeah. what i mean it's just like yeah. i don't know if that's the, is that the opposite would you say that's the opposite of or are you saying i'm more like the 13 year old white girl <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly that's like your spirit animal. Okay. <laughs> I'm just sitting here with like a PSL. Just right. like, oh, I can yeah. see it. I can see it. Oh, Pink drink. <laughs> Stanley Cup. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. That's so crazy. Oh, man. Yeah, that's dope, bro. That's so sick. And then, so No Longer Bound came first before Alter. Yeah. How did that come about? Because that was that was your your thing first. Yeah. Okay. And was yeah. that y'all's first time actually like collabing <clears throat> together? Yeah. Yeah. No Longer Bound was so special because. Up until that point, I had only released secular music okay. since 2017. Oh. And that I, I still loved worship. Like, I love worship. But kind of like the massage thing I said, like, I, I was so afraid of attaching any monetary to source dog, to it because yeah. it's so pure to me. And um, I'm just pure to all of y'all. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I had this song that I would play on the piano and I just had those chords and I'd just sing the chorus. And it was like my go-to, like when I was just connecting with Father, just like I was just seeing that, and uh, for like weeks, months, that was just that, with no intention of making wow. it into a song. And then I, just, I felt like God was calling me to turn it into a song, so I played it. I think I just recorded it on my iPhone, low key, and uh, 
didn't like the key, so I pitched up five, and then I just like recorded a bunch of crowd vocals around, and then I threw the beat on. And uh, so all the crowd vocals are you. Yeah, every, all, every everything in the song is me. Other the than, whole that's crazy, yeah, yeah, yeah. bro. I other, thought it was a sample. Whole, yeah. I know, me that too. That's yeah. nuts. Thought it was like actually like a kids choir. I know, me too. No, it's, my, it's me my, pitched my up boy. five. Yeah. Yeah, JT's like not room. he's not musical enough yeah, to know J- what we're talking about. <laughs> JT's like, bro, what why do you do why are you doing <laughs> me like that right now? <laughs> <laughs> I know what pitched up means, bro. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, I pitched it up five now. Yeah, what? JT dude, he doesn't yeah. understand that. Bro, bro <laughs> goes to college and comes back brand new. Yeah, I'm sorry. Can you let the man tell a story? Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> it's good. So yeah, I I I had done that and then uh my wife and I went on this trash vacation. <laughs> Wait, you go and tell us where to. Yeah. <laughs> I was just telling D about this vacation. It was the, I don't even want to tell y'all where it was. Okay. It was in, it was, it was in Mexico. I don't tell you the, the resort because yeah. I'm not going to shade on it because someone else might have an amazing experience. Right. Yeah. We don't ever. It, bro, it was beautiful. It's the kind of place they like take you like golf cart, you know, around. They've got the private beach, everything. And we were so bored because it mm. was like, it was like all these nice things, but then no su- substance. And here's another thing. Uh, I was telling you this as well. We were we went to go play basketball, and they charged us for what? basketball. Yeah, what ridiculous. Does that even mean? That's Sorry, like, this is a whole side note. But anyways, on that vacation, like you played against other people, or just like on your own. We we literally just like, hey, can we run a basketball to shoot hoops? We shot for two minutes max, and they were like Ka-ching. twenty bucks. Yeah, oh, what the? Yeah. I was like, let me get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I had hit up. Uh, so yeah, I had the song. Had the had the second verse open, and I was just scrolling reels one day, and I came across it was a video I think of Hovey with a, a he had a red drink he had a Shirley Temple because he has a bar about about Shirley Temple. Okay, I want to say oh gosh what song is it? Uh, have me, have me was was the one that hooked me. Have you all heard Have Me? I don't think no, so, bro. No. Tap into Have Me. It okay. is like goaded Hovey. Really? Tap into Have Me. Uh, see, I heard that. And because I, I was like, I don't know who I could get. It's like a Christian. Like, obviously, I could get like Lecrae. I don't know him, though. Yeah. Like, there's like some like iconic people. There wasn't anybody that like had that like kind of like sound I was looking for. And I came across that video. I was like, whoa, this guy's fire. So I DM'd him. And I don't know how quickly I asked him. It was probably just like, I love your stuff. I think I shared that song on my story. And then, yeah, it was just like, hey, I have this song. Like, can I just send it your way if you? If you don't like it, that's totally fine. And he was like, oh, I love this. And so he sent a verse. And I don't even know if he, if he mentioned this, but he deleted the first verse. No, what? he did not he, say he that. Rewrote, he rewrote his first verse because he, he wasn't happy. He scrapped it? He, he said his thing is his second verse is always the, the, the that's the one. Uh, really? Yeah. Wow. So you just skip the... Yeah, he like writes the first verse, deletes, deletes it, and then does it, the second then, one. So he yeah. sent me the first verse. And we were both kind of like, I don't know if that's like fully it. And then he said yeah. the second one. It was like, this is it. And that was the Dang. one. That's the one that he stuck with. Yeah, that's sick, dude. That's so sick. Dang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, so that's crazy. he sent it to you while you were still in Mexico, or like were yeah, you playing basketball. Thank you, thank you, thank <laughs> yeah, you. I, mean, I appreciate I'm, you. I'm, I'm, oh, yeah, 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 I'm, I'm yes. tracking. I'm tracking. I don't, I, yeah, I it, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a core memory because of just like I'm just like I'm burning money at this like vacation that's not yeah. fun. Uh, yeah, he Facetimed me and sent the beat. I remember being in that hotel room. So. Kind of no interesting. Ju- is the, it was the redemption of the, yeah, of the, the trip. Re- <laughs> of bro, there's, there's, there's so much gold in what you just spoke on. Uh, like, uh, I mean, can we like just start off by just saying like yeah. the, the thing that kind of really set the trajectory of your like your career path thus far yeah. came out of just something that was so intimate with you and God. Like, yeah. I think so many like artists, songwriters, whatever, like just are trying to chase what happened so naturally. Yeah. And like, like speak to how hard that, that that must have been for you to be like, like this feels like this is just for like me and God, and now I'm about to like share put that. it out for the world to like yeah. consume. Like, yeah, yeah. Th- I mean, thankfully, I had a lot of stuff happening around it. There was yeah. a girl uh, from Washington D.C. before I'd re- released the song. Um, I think this 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 will answer your question. I think. Uh, yeah, this girl from Washington, D.C. was visiting our church, and uh, she's, like, kind of, like, in the up of the church. Like, okay. people, like, know about her. Like, they, yeah. like, she's, like, I don't know what her role is. She's just, like, prophetic. And she had a dream about someone named Forrest and, like, went to the pastor and was like, hey, is there someone in the congregation named Forrest? 
And they're like, oh, yeah. And they, they, a group of people came up and found me, and she prayed over me. And, like, in this prayer, it was, like, 20 minutes of just, like, reading my mail, like, not actually though. Yeah, call, the mail, call, back, call, back. <laughs> call, call, call back. Call back. Call back. Call back. Um, just uh, and she was she was just like oh like you know and are you pregnant and like we didn't even we hadn't even announced that my wife was pregnant and like she like knew about that and she was just talking about like this like she's like I feel like you're supposed to like separate from like what you're doing in music and like blossom like a new like thing with, I, don't, I can't remember exactly what it's yeah. but basically like do Christian music. Wow. And it like perfectly was exactly what I, Whoa. what I needed to like have the confidence to like just do it. Cause that, yeah, I don't know. It was, I don't know if it was scary, but it was yeah. just kind of like, what am I doing here? I don't yeah. know. I'm starting a whole new brand. Like, yeah, just gonna, I don't know, just do it. And I did it. And it, the song went kind of crazy. So I, God. I, know. I, I love stories like that. Cause like, it, yeah. It, it reminds like dreamers that like it doesn't just happen. Yeah. Like it's like it's so hard to just be like sit down and be like I'm gonna write a hit. Sure. Essentially, like you had no idea you were writing a hit. You were just like you were writing something from your heart. Sure. Oh, I- In fact, ironically, you probably Come thought on. the other way around. Like not that look, but you probably weren't thinking like, yo, this is the one. Like this is the banger. This is the one that's gonna blow up. Like that wasn't you trying to create a viral moment. It was sure. actually the the moment where you. Kind of probably let go of that, trying to make chase that hit. Yeah, yeah. the hit actually came. Yeah, it's crazy. I, I and I would even say that like, like people probably look at my social media and they're like, oh my gosh, he knows exactly what he's doing. And I know what I'm doing now. Yeah. But no longer bound literally taught me how. Because I was like, I was like, oh, let's just shoot some like, foot. It was the first uh, rock video. Yeah. And that was actually the first time I'd ever worked with D too. I keep I keep talking about D. I know we need, uh, need, need a camera on D. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out D. Uh, that was the first time we had worked together. Um, yeah, we just did that like the rock video, and it went like crazy. Like got like hundreds of thousands of likes, and I was like, oh my gosh, I don't have to like do silly stuff to get right, likes. Right, you can just yeah. you can just film a quality song, and it goes. Yeah. And so yeah. that taught me like, oh, like good music connects. And we can't really choose what's yeah. going to connect. Like, yeah. So that's kind of a, that's a rule of mine. That's some free game. Free okay. game. Free game. Free game. If, 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 the, if your content's not doing well, the song's not good enough. Ooh. Dang. That's the free game. Dude, because it's so that's funny you say it. that, because I've, I've met with so many creatives who, like, work with artists who literally go, like, oh, yeah, I want to do the thing that, like, Forrest does. Like, he just, like, uses the same song over and over <laughs> with just new content. And they're like, and that's the thing that's going to make it blow up. And so it's really cool for you to talk about the, the flip side. Go, hey, no, it's not going to blow up if the song sucks. Right. So I think and so dude, many people. How many he probably had to make before I know. he found that one. That I know, because so many people are like, oh, just no matter what the song is, just keep putting out this, yeah. like different yeah. content for that song because that's what Forrest does yeah. and that's why his stuff Literally. blows up. And you're like, uh, my stuff blows up because it's some good stuff. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> He's like, no, I'm really, him. A couple things. <laughs> exactly. I mean, if we want to talk stats, I have... Across all releases that I've been a part of, this is about to be a crazy. Probably like 140 songs out, and every 12 to 13 does does really really good. Jeez, but the yeah, so like some people drop like three four songs, like I'm just not good. It's like dude, it takes takes 12 13. That's crazy. But I mean, well, who knows how many it took to get the first good one? But now now it's statistically it's like every 12 or 13. Right. Okay. Dang, that's crazy. So how would the whole remix of no longer bound with Mav and Chandler come about. Yeah. Uh, man, how did that come about? <laughs> <laughs> this works with one of the, you know, the biggest Christian artists. Yeah. He was like, I was, I was in my prayer closet praying yeah. and Chandler just happened to walk by my street. <laughs> yeah. He was in my, he found my address. Yeah. <laughs> Chandler just kept sending me these, these, this letters. Mail and- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, he was in Mexico with him. <laughs> yeah, and then I, me and so Chandler were 1v1-ing. <laughs> right. I, right it's all calling. coming back. <laughs> <laughs> Callbacks. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think I, I think maybe they had DM'd, maybe Mav City DM'd my account and was like, hey, would you love to, would you, or would, would you want to attempt a remix of, some, of the song? And... Like it's Map City, so I was like, "Oh my gosh, that'd be yeah. so cool." Uh, yes. Um, <laughs> but I never, I never do anything based off of like numbers or size or anything. And what what had me was they were like, "Would you 
I think it was like, would you let us remix the song? Would you like, like to do something? I said yes. And then like a few days later, they just sent me the new version with all the new drums and like the every the choir and everything. Wow. And I was like, oh, that's how you sell an idea. Like wow. yeah. I heard it. I was like, oh, it's got to happen. Like yeah. 100%. Holy that's crazy. So, yeah. That's crazy. So what and was from that? What? Sorry, go ahead. No, no, no. No, you no, go. you got it. No, you go. <laughs> I was going to say from that demo they sent you like – how close was that to like the uh, like the version y'all ended up going with? Um, pretty close. I think we like we remixed it to add like a little bit of like the original drums into it to give okay. it like a little bit more of a like the original feel, the oomph to it. Wow. But yeah, for the most part, that was pretty much it. What's Dang, your dream great. collab? Oh man, maybe Tom Mish would be up there. Who's that? You know him? Uh, oh, bro, dude. I you're on? You're tapped in? Yeah, I'm dude. not tapped. Beautiful oh, man. I'm not tapped. Oh, bro. <laughs> Probably one of the greatest musicians you'll ever find. Yeah. He is brilliant. Dude, I, think, I, I think he did something I in caught, Charlotte recently. Really? Yeah. I caught him on his SoundCloud wave because I used to be like big on SoundCloud. That's, that's where I started my career was on SoundCloud. No way. And he, would, he used to just do beats and he would have his guitar. He wasn't even using his voice yet. And like he was already goaded just for his beats and then he pulled out his voice and you're like it's this bro your voice people like that i have to tap honestly, in bro. Uh, people, I have no hey, idea. Honestly, oh, dude, it's like i i love that we we we've used the word pure so much mm -hmm. his sound is so pure so pure it's yeah. it's like that uh, you know he's not doing it for money exactly he's just he loves that chord and yeah. the next chord and yes. it is dude uh you need if you're not listening to him dude you should go check him out tom what is his name tom, tom mish name? Yeah. Mish. Tom Mish. Tom Mish, yeah. yeah. T O M M I S C H. M I S C H. I'm tripping. Yeah, yeah. he's up there. Damn. That could be fire. You and Tom. We got to make like a mashup and post it as like with the yeah. clip or something. Right. <laughs> like I, Tom uh, Mish mashup. Most, most everyone that I want to meet, I end up meeting, which is interesting. Yeah. yeah that's crazy. Yeah. Have you met anyone that's like you've been starstruck by yet? Like, just like. Or like uh, I never thought this would happen. Can't believe it's them. In the well, I mean, one one of them would be an artist named Medicine, Kay. who is like bussing on SoundCloud. Kay. Beautiful sound design, even at like a young age on SoundCloud. Sound, <laughs> SoundCloud, SoundCloud had like crazy sound design, and like fast forward, I'm like in the studio with him making music. And Damn. dude, you're really tapped with like the kind of kind of underground and yeah, 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 totally. Yeah. SoundCloud, I love scene, I yeah. love music. That's like that's. Sick. At the at the core of it, you know. Yeah. Dang. Yeah. That's nuts. That's dope. All right. So, what would you say to people who say Christian music is corny? Christian music is corny. Uh, give us one more year. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, it's over. It's over. This is what I was saying. Worship, mm. worship is down. We got that down pat, bro. Yeah. Like, if you want to go melt into a song, we got worship down. But oh, as yeah. far as like what you're talking about corny you're talking about like the attempt at sauce mm -hmm. it's out there it's few and far between but yeah this like phrase that was in my head was in the same way that christians have sacrificed their value systems mm -hmm. to absorb worldly art mm -hmm. i think what's coming is the world's going to sacrifice their value systems to, to absorb christian, christian art, art. Jeez. Yeah. that's crazy that's crazy. Dude, that is, that's a fire concept to think about. That yeah. Is. It's, well, it's already, it's happening, bro. It's happening. You're right. Cause that, that's always been the hardest part is that like we refuse to like almost like dumb down the gospel in order to like get viral, virality. If, if that's, yeah. that's, that is a word, right? Virality. Yeah. It is and, now, baby. I know. And it's been so cool to see so many artists trying to now collab with Christian artists. Yeah. Cause there's that, Again, there's that way to get purity. There's like there's just something mm. pure about what what maybe Christian artists do that kind of doesn't feel like oh we have to drop an f bomb in order for something to feel like it's relevant. You know, it's right. just like oh man, there's just something about your music because they they don't know how to put words to it. Yeah. So I think there's there's an attractiveness now coming through 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 Christian uh, artists that I think uh, secular artists are are like we need more of that, but they don't know how best to come around it and so now yep. there's this cool collaboration piece kind of happening and so you're you're probably you're prophetic bro yeah a yeah. year from now people are gonna look at this part and go how did he know, <laughs> did he know? a lot of a lot of stuff that i do i feel like god always, like is reminding me that like i may not be the one to like 
reap the benefit. It could just be like a start, a, a, a mm. yeah, a launching ground. Like a right. lot of, I have like big ideas, and it's like if I go through with it, it may not be me, but someone will see it and tap yeah. in. That's yeah. like younger than me, and then that'll yeah, happen, bro. So. It's, like, it's like Moses in the wilderness, bro. Wow. God mm. showed him the promised land, but he couldn't step inside. It was Joshua and Caleb who were the ones. Yeah, wow. yeah so Maybe. like in a world where everything that goes viral is so worldly, what, why do you think your content is able to like blow up and like become viral? And it, it, literally in the same way that like anything else mm-hmm. would, honestly, with like the way you like promote your stuff. Um... Cause, dude, it's like Man. every every other Christian artist that I be seeing trying to post TikToks be getting like fifty likes, bro. Like I swear, it's yeah. like a it's a plague, bro. It's bad. It's a plague. It's bad. <laughs> um, oh my God. there's two. I mean, there's two things happening. One, the song isn't good enough. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And two, they're selfish in their the way that they're po- they're they're posting content just to get it out there. Yeah. But content is it's an art form. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's yep. it's like a massage. Yep. Like you really got to think about. Okay, uh, like I think about that. I'm like, as someone is watching this video, like, where does it feel the most comfortable to have the text? Yeah, not like it's not vicious. It's it's like it's very mm. kind. I I try to be kind to yeah. my viewers, mm. and I think that's important. Is yeah. like, you know, it's like it's like running a restaurant. Like yeah. you're not gonna just be like, here's here's your yeah. food. It's yeah. like no, like here's your perfect plate I made for you. I hope you love it. Yeah. Dang. Dude, that's Curating something. He that looked, cheese, I, I, bro, I just, I'm loving this because you're, you're almost, you're looking at the music you create as a service. Yeah. Like yeah. all those examples you just said, it's like you're serving people, restaurants. Like That's the same thing. Yeah, oh, bro. And so like, it's a it's, restaurant. Yeah. It's so, it's so beautiful that you're also looking at the content that you create as a service too. I think other people look at it for like, okay, what is it going to do for me? Like, mm. I want to get yeah. high yeah, off of all, all the numbers love, that kind of, I want to get high off of the likes, you know, mm-hmm. and like the dopamine of like, oh, I'm viral. You're going, hey, I, that's the last thing. On yeah. the, You're like, hey, like how does this post serve these people? Yeah. Sure. <sighs> and I'm not perfect. Like you, like you could scroll through and I'm sure like I have so many not that good posts, but like, the ones that go crazy typically yeah. are the ones that I'm really, yeah. really caring about. Do you, have you ever gotten to the place where you've kind of formed a love hate relationship with having to always create content or has to be, yeah. Or or are, or or are you just superhuman and it's like, bro, I'm just flowing in the love of Christ. And it's, <laughs> you know, no, like, it's not it's not that. It's like content is is like a is like a leg day and I we we say that all the time, but it's like a leg day. You hate it at first. Then you start to kind of like it, and then you start to, Dang. and then people are like, "Yo, your legs are kind of busted, bro." <laughs> and then, and you're, then like, you're like, "You're like, yeah, like yeah, I'm yeah, up, like uh, yeah." It's just like, and then you keep doing it. It's just awesome. I love it. It's like, it's yeah. like, yeah. I think as soon as I got a camera, that's when I really started. I was like, "Whoa!" Like editing and Premiere and like color grading and like getting all these. I can capture a sunset and like sometimes I feel like the best part is like making me like kind of the least. The least part of the video, yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's like the getting prominent. Like you put, you, you'll see like a lot of my stuff is like big on like backgrounds. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because I'm like, I want you to like admire the beauty. Yeah. Dang. Behind me, and I'm, I'm just, I'm just kind of there. I'm like a prop. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. That's bro, sick. that's crazy. Clip that, bro. Clip that, bro. <laughs> Clip that. Dude, we were at Valley today, bro, and we we're just chilling on some free time, and like, bro, we shot so many videos of just. Doing different stuff. I can't wait to see that. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to the either because he, he hopped on my back for a video. <laughs> he Solid. didn't give me a massage though. Okay. So. Um, but bro, like you, it, even talking to Holby, bro, your creative output is wild. Like you do all your own music, yeah. producing, creating content, shooting videos. Um, bro, it just seems like you put out so much stuff and you're always like creating no matter if you're in Charlotte, North Carolina with a bunch of people you just yeah. met or you're at your house, like yeah. shooting a, a music video or, or in the studio, creating a song. How do you get, or in, in this year you dropped so much music, three albums, I think cowboy, ca- California, California cowboy, cowboy yeah. lo-fi Christmas. Yeah. Are you like on a label? Or are you doing this show kid? Are I'm you like- hun- I'm- it's me and D right now. Dude, dude, D, D designs the merch Fire. and just 
does all the things that allows me to make music. But Dude, I'm I'm just straight true. district kid. So you can drop whenever you want. If you're tr- if you're trying to reach me on email, you probably can't can't reach me because <laughs> I'm too busy to check it. It's, Let's it's, go it's that wave. <laughs> Dude, that's crazy. So you're doing all this stuff, always creating. Where do you get your inspiration from? Because being in like this creative world, being around music, being around whatever it is, it seems like a lot of people tend to get into like creative ruts where they where they feel like they yeah. don't have inspiration. But it seems like with you, it's just like... Overflow. Overflow. Where yeah. Where does that come from? I mean, it comes from the Lord, straight up. It comes from my life, it comes from my family, just everything around. Like, I feel like it's so simple to get inspired, honestly. Mm-hmm. There's, like, always inspiration, as long as you're honest. Mm-hmm. And, like, I don't know, like, I was working on a song. I mean, I work on a song, like, all the time, every day. Mm-hmm. I'm always working on songs. But, like, well, here, here's one. Here's one that, like, is is ever flowing is, like, if God tells me something, I can then just put it in a song. Yeah. And it sounds like I'm like, it may me, make me sound like cool or whatever, but it's really just yeah. God's voice. Yeah. Mm. Like I have this one I'm working on called Even God Takes Breaks. Even mm. God Takes Breaks. And it's just like him saying like, uh-huh. hey, I rested on the seventh day. Like, Come you, on. Don't, you don't have to work today. Yeah. Dang. Just like reminding me. Dude, that's a banger. I need to hear that. I know, dude. dude, it it's hard. It honestly is hard. I'm already I'm already yeah. that one line. <laughs> but one I mean, line, but bro. yeah, but I I I I know you cuz there's a part of it that you're downplaying cuz I feel like you literally said, but I do it every day. Mm. Like, I think the reason why you can stay inspired is because like work and inspiration go hand in hand. Yeah. yeah. It's like cuz I mean, I'm hearing you talking and it's like I think it there's an art okay. form. Yeah. That comes to it where hold, it hold is. Up, like, yeah, hold connection. up. Let me, yeah, let me, let me, yeah, let me, let me be real. I eat organic food. I touch the earth. I get yeah. in the sunlight. I confess my sins. I hang with community. I drink water. I eat salt before I drink water. I, I, re, I hyper care about every single thing that I consume. I don't hang out with people that I want to be around yeah. unless I'm like trying to minister to them. You know what I'm saying? On. I'm not going to like, I'm going to make sure that my wife's good, my son's good, everything's good. I'm very, very particular about protecting my relationships and my, like, my home, my space, you know, Mm. like, Mm. my New Year's resolution was, like, I'm not allowing my phone in my bedroom. Like, I'm just, like, I've really, like, we we have, uh, our bathroom has red light bulbs. We sleep on, uh, (laughs) we have a... A mattress that yeah. plugs into the ground. Like we do, we're no we're way. doing every single thing that we can to put our body at rest. You know the best way that we can. And I think that with that, my output is just nuclear. Come on, bro. My energy is insane because I'm yeah. taking care of myself. There I work is. out. I go on walks. Yeah. You know. Well, because that's hard work to do that, bro. Yeah. You're yeah. doing like, you're yeah. doing things that nobody wants to do yeah exactly like mm. exactly and 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 i think it's become so easy for you but that's because you put your body through the torture of getting rid of everything yeah. else that everyone else wants all the comfort stuff because yeah. i'm like listening to that and i'm just like oh my God. <laughs> yeah oh. i got a big list of- <laughs> no right i think i'm like whoa in a different in, a, in an alternate universe and i and i i can't put myself on his level because like he does his things but like i heavily identify with like a david goggins Oh, if y'all know Shout out David is. Goggins. Oh yeah, oh, like, yeah. love David Goggins. That Freak. energy, the way that he is about, like I, I feel that towards life, and yeah, dude, Bro, that's, that's so insane. You love to see it. You're one of the hardest working people I, I've ever met. Like, sitting here, I'm just yeah, so you got me, inspired. I'm ready to go home. I'm so I'm fired up, bro. I'm let's, go, New Year's let's go cook up. I'm about to take my wife. I'm like, babe, get rid of the get bed. Get some red lights. <laughs> yeah, just, <laughs> take the light bulbs out right We're sleeping now. on the ground. I'm like, no more I'm, fluorescent I'm bulbs. I'm giving up Coca-Cola. All I'm drinking is juice. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> bro, couldn't oh, even bro. say water. <laughs> I couldn't even say water. I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah. I'm like, I still need sugar. I need sugar back. I think, you know when you were talking about like your polar opposite? I think we I just found just your phone. Phone. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Bro, this guy, Every, well, I don't want to out you because it's I okay, feel like out last me. time. Yeah, no, it's okay. Out me. It's okay. Dude, out this guy's family. Lazy <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> not, not with work ethic. I'm saying dietary, brother. Oh, yeah, this I'm would be your... You're yeah, you'd be my arch nemesis. Oh, bro. oh I'm, brother. I'm, not, I'm not kidding you. He does not drink water. I hate it. What do you drink? 
like Coca Cola. I've known this man. <laughs> like this, this guy's new. I've known this man. For, why, for, why are you coming you after me on this podcast? I've known bro. this man for since. Easily, I've been coming to his desk since 2019. He's <laughs> never not had a box of Mike and Ike's. Not Brother. one singular time, wow, bro. bro. What is it about? McDonald's the Mike and Ike's? only. Dude, McDonald's and Mike and Ike. Sugar makes me feel close to the Lord. I, I, <laughs> I'm like, every time I, I taste sugar, I'm like, oh, God did a good yeah. thing with this. You know what I mean? It's it just like, I, I there's, there's a, there, there is like a, a, a very much a like, a, uh, a dependency on on sugar that I I, 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 <laughs> I <laughs> Dude, we're getting deep. I know. I know. It really is. But but I really don't know what to say. Like it, it's probably the hardest thing for me to like be like. Hey, like, anytime we do like fast and stuff with mm. um with my wife and like church and stuff, I I become a different person. Like I'm like I'm you're like, withdrawing from. The oh, bro, I'm like don't nobody speak to me. Like like just let me be. Yeah. Because I just I. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Dude, he's <laughs> gushing over there. You can, you can, know, you yeah. can see the electricity in his face. That's right. So, all right, a little more serious question. But so in that, like, in that, dude, what is your problem? <laughs> My problem? I'm not doing anything, bro. In that. <laughs> I don't even know what's happening it's right that now. Time, bro. It's in that routine that? Um, that you were talking about. How when do you how do you prioritize your time with the Lord and like what time of the day do you do that at and like what does that look first like? First thing, you? first thing, yeah, right when you wake up. I go, uh, I sit in a, a personal sauna. Uh, that's <laughs> fine. That's fine. We were talking Some red about light, yeah. Personal yeah. sauna, mm-hmm. and you're hitting like what do you what do you normally read? Do you like to do like devos? Do you just do like kind of open it up? Go right. It depends. Uh, 2023, I feel like I was way more like I was just talking about this with my life group way more like prayer driven. And I feel like I was hearing God's voice so clearly. And 2024, I feel like I'm not really hearing his voice as clearly, but I think it's because he wants me in scripture, hmm. Be- mm. which is interesting because my New Year's resolution was to get into scripture more. And then I was like, when I pray, I was like, where are you, Lord? Yeah. Uh, but I'm like, you're right here. So yeah. I've, been, I've been talking to God a lot just through scripture. Yeah. But That's for sweet. me, I read very slowly because I read very slowly. <laughs> First off, <laughs> let's get that I was, out. I was like, I cannot in. spell. Yeah. Why? 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 When you no. read the words, slower. <laughs> right. he totally it could have taken that know. opportunity. No, but I, yeah, I hit, I hit a side. Up. But I, but I am saying, I am saying, I read slowly because I want to like really understand it. Like I try to like, mm. like I'm in Matthew right now, and I'm like, I'm like really trying to picture like the streets where Jesus was walking. Like at, I, I'm, I want to picture like his tone of voice yeah. when mm. he's saying the things, and like try to absorb it because it like really changes so it it's like i'm not trying to i'm not trying to hit like three four pages it's just like i read until i'm like okay my brain can't process more than two chapters because there was so much meat in there yeah Yeah. so sick dang that's super dope okay so hard topic switch i feel like to a lot of people (laughs) (laughs) to a lot of people i feel like your success might look kind of like instant right like you just like blew up out of nowhere what do you feel like it was that way or like what did it actually look like for you like what did it take for you to get to the point where you are right now and like do you feel like that was like a fast process or maybe like more behind the scenes that people definitely aren't seeing if i explained what i did to get where i am nobody would do it yeah like maybe one or two so i'm not lying but like it it would be so much. It would just be like, what's the, I, I, it, I would rather like walk the earth <laughs> or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, walk seriously, the like, yeah, like it's, it is a, I, some people can get lucky. Yeah. I'm not one of those people. Mm-hmm. I'm straight up hard work. Yeah. And it took, you know, I took, I think it took about six years of like consistently working at it every day before I ever made anything really good. And it took about seven years before I even made like a dollar. So some people are like, I'm going to drop out and like just do music. It's like, took me six, seven years to to get any kind of traction. So I I don't know if there's even an answer to this question, but do you think what's more important when it comes to like people who are passionate about something, is it discipline or the love of it? Like Mm. what's it been for you? Because, I've heard in your story, like almost a combination of both. So maybe yeah. it is both, but it's it's really cool to be like, 
you fell in love with something and then you just start working hard at it. So it's yeah. like, okay, like, were you just always that discipline? Is that something that you were naturally born with it? Or, or is it like the love kind of produced the discipline? Like, I've always, I have always desired greatness. Like, I've always been the mm. like hardest practicer, like on sports teams and mm. stuff. Like, I always like wanted to, to do the best. Yeah. I think, I don't know, but yeah, yeah at this, at this point, like what I was thinking of when you, whenever you ask that is like, I feel like if you love something, you like have to have discipline. You know, like I feel like you, wow. you, you set me up with that one, dog. Yeah. You set me up with that one. That's easy. <laughs> Reach. Bro. You gotta, you gotta Break protect that, that down, dude. Yeah, it's like oh, I love music, so I, like, you know, I love music and I love piano, but it's hard to learn piano. You got, mm. you got to sit there and do the things you don't. You got to play the scales. You got to yeah. learn the keys. You got to yeah. learn which which notes you don't like, and you know, eventually, you add enough to your. uh vocabulary yeah. you know your vernacular or whatever and and now you can yeah. really play what you feel and yeah so that's where the discipline comes in um yeah but yeah it yeah. isn't it, it isn't hard for me to make music it's i i love it but it is hey 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 here's here here it is it is hard to finish a song oh bro that's what it is yes starting a song all day yeah. it's candy bro yeah yeah you, you know what i'm saying, <laughs> you know what saying? Nice. <laughs> it's my right night, bro. speaking my language yeah uh finishing a song is yeah. hard work yeah and i've just kind of become like the finisher yeah. honestly okay I, t- yeah talk, talk yeah <laughs> i'm the finisher. finisher that's so cold yeah. <laughs> who is this guy I know. why does he have so many good he's so cool lines? i know dude. everything Clip he that. says is just i am the killer, killer bro <laughs> so I, yeah i know i, I i'm dead right I, now. I have another question for you because i just i i know we're probably geeking out as songwriters right now so for anyone who's just like yeah, a dude, creative I'm or like good. or like someone who's so artsy like uh, how, how much is like collaboration um meant to you like were, were you because obviously some of these collaborations that you've been able to do with some really cool people but at, at the beginning like because you just spoke about how hard it is to finish a song one of the things that honestly saved my songwriting journey was finally being able to like trust other people enough to show them my mess because mm. that was always the hardest thing for me it was like i was always trying to like bring the perfected finished pieces but it yeah. never felt like it was good enough to show people. And so then it kind of starts the cycle of like, oh no, I need to finish it to bring it to people. But, but I need to who's, be who's, who's Who's people? Ex- it, like, like just other people that are, I maybe want to help me complete it. But at the same time, I'm like so afraid that they're going to be like, oh, this is You're saying like you, why- you have a voice memo. A voice memo you send it thing. to a producer or something. Yeah, you know, and, and I'm like, oh God, but I, I need them to know exactly what it needs to sound like before. Yeah. Gotcha. They jump on, but then what's the point? You know, and so like sure. yeah. the thing that saved me was going, hey, like it doesn't have to be complete in order to bring other people in. Sure. So that like saved my kind of creative process. For you, has it been the same for you, or, or did you just like kind of build up that self confidence of like, hey, I'm I might never have someone that I can like bring in, so like I'm gonna have to finish all of this on my own. I mean, yeah, I think. Uh... I feel like there's a couple things in yeah. there, honestly, but where I'm, where I'm going with it is like, I was in Texas, not in a music school. I didn't know anybody that was yeah. doing music. TikTok wasn't around. YouTube tutorials were kind of a thing, yeah. but it was like FL Studio and I was trying to figure out this beat machine. Yeah, you know yeah I was going to ask, what made you go for the beat machine over like FL or it something like that? It just looked fun. Yeah. And, uh, just it, like the... and it, it is a toy. It is straight up a toy. I mean, it's a great sampler, but I think you yeah. have to like work it in like an actual DAW. Because there's, there's no way you don't cook up in a DAW now. There's no way you're still oh, yeah. going. I'm, I'm in logic. I'm yeah, logic yeah, okay, now. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, But yeah, years and years and years of like not having anybody else to wow. I like kind of taught myself how to just wow. like get get there. But m- my rule now is to finish wow the song and i can know i i've I've done it enough years to know i you know it's not even about the years it's just if i'm if i'm playing a chord progression yeah and it's been a minute of looping it and i'm bored of it it's done if i'm fire if i've been playing the chord progression and it's been 10 minutes and i'm still feeling it's like that's the one fire and in those 10 minutes i've probably written the song it's probably in there just because it just kind of Dude, I'm Close taking, up. I don't know about y'all, I'm taking notes right Dude, now. Dude, I'm... Dude, go with the grain. 
that's what pe- people are like, go, go get screen. Dude, like, mm. and I don't want to use this out of context in little things, but like his yoke is easy. Yeah. And I've really been applying that to like everything yeah. and going like with the grain of, yeah. of life. And it really like, yeah, it's just better that way. Just, just Dude. like, if, you, if you're on an idea, don't have your ego in it. Just be like, you know, what? I'm not feeling this song right now. Delete it. Done. Try a new one. You know, just mm. it's not that special. Cause you're right. Cause as, as creatives, we get so attached to the thing that we create so so much totally. that it's it's so hard to be so objective. Totally about it because you're just like no, but like it's from me, and it's especially it's like it's from me, and it's from God. So every little thing, yeah, has to be like it's powerful. Has to be powerful. Yeah. It's all, it, but what you just said is just like hey, like try it. If after a minute you're bored, cool. Next thing, like that's yeah. done. It's like yeah, that's brilliant. And if you're really like about that life, yeah, I know you know saying like you're going to stay in music and keep writing yeah. almost every idea comes back at some point like i've had like mm-hmm. i remember writing songs early on like my first second year having no idea what i was doing and like 7 8 years later being like whoa that was a good idea yeah. and like pulling Bring that back, back. Yeah, yeah little pieces from yeah yeah, yeah. I mean, it's like there's no, there's no bad idea for this moment it may just or Be for no, but yeah, 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 yeah. Different, yeah. different time. Yeah, I pause always says that nothing's ever wasted. Yeah, no, that was that was crazy hearing him say that because I it was know. like verbatim something. Ver- like that verbatim, saying, like yeah. something that yeah, yeah, that yeah, pasta that was, said. That was trippy, bro. Who's your that dad? Was, oh, the. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, how he always got dude, you there. I, I, I always like feel so bad because I'm like, I never want to be, I never want to sound like I'm like, oh, you don't, you don't know who my dad is, yeah. <laughs> but then I'm also like, totally. I don't want to. You know what I'm saying? It's such a weird experience. Totally. I know. Because, yeah. I mean, and we've had th- this conversation so much. It's like, it's it's a part of who you are. So why be ashamed that like, that's your dad? Or it's just weird if you just uh, ignore the elephant in the room. Of, exactly. Like, exa- if you didn't say that, yeah. it'd be like, why? Exactly. Why even hold it back? Yeah. 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 Bro, I want to go back to something you were talking about earlier. Um, and just like the, like the purity thing of, I think it's so beautiful that you were referring to that moment of that connecting with the Lord through no longer bound Mm -hmm. and like not wanting to taint the purity of something that was like between you and God. And just like the way I feel like you feel about your creation of like music in general. Yeah. Where do you think that comes from? And like, what does that mean to you? That like that, that that relationship with God, like the purity of that. Yeah. Because I think it's something so beautiful and something like, I feel like in a, a lot of the circles I'm in and around, like people are just creating for like to go viral or to be known or to be famous, even in like the worship world. You mm. know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's so, it's such a prized thing right now to just like become influential on social mm. media or like whatever, even in the means of like worship context. Mm-hmm. But I think your view on it is so polar opposite of just like this thing is so pure to me and like this offering Mm. that I can give to the Lord of what he's gifted me with. And I think that's so cool. I just want you to talk more about that because Mm. I feel like that can really like set a lot of people free of like maybe this constant like chasing of like being known or what. And I don't don't want to put words in your mouth, but I, I think there's something there of like the, just purity and the way you described it like really yeah. stuck out to me. Well, I guess there's two ways. There's like one is like the musical side of that. And then one is just like the pure relationship that has right. kind of nothing and everything to do with music. But like when I, I think, and I don't know if I'm alone in this. I, I, I imagine that this is kind of the human design, but I have a lot of needs emotionally. And I, I can I can be lonely, I can be like insecure, I can be I don't know. Like I, I I need like a loving dad to just kinda like hug me all day. Hmm. And I get that with God. Like God I I genuinely am like God is just like holding me all day and I feel that. It's a very like intimate, pure relationship. And uh yeah, my sophomore year when I was in that worship service, I felt that for the first time. I was like, "Oh, this is it." Every it's crazy cuz it's an it's an invisible force. Mm. He's an invisible force. But um 
in that moment, it was, it was more real than a conversation. Like Jeez. you can't in, in all of your communication with me, you can't like make me f- like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like, like he affected me so real. Right. And yeah. Is, yeah. So that's, Jeez. that's, that's that side where it's like, that is my dad and he's always with me. It's very special. And I've said it, I've said this before, but like no longer bound to me was like playing catch with him. It was like, saying oh, I was playing catch with dad. So it was, it was a little bit uh, sentimental, like letting it go to the world. Cause it was like, that's our thing. Dang. Um, and then musically, um, let me just say that like, sometimes I'm just messing around, you know, like I'll, I have, yeah, I have yeah. many songs in the chamber yeah. that are just like, bops. Just like just, yeah, yeah, just literally just having fun. And a part of having fun sometimes is being a little cringy, a little corny, because it's yeah. like, I don't know what's cool, I don't know what's not, and some, you know. Right. So there's that side of it, but yeah, if I'm like trying to figure out how to like reel this back in with the the father, but like, yeah, if I'm if I'm just making music with him, yeah, I'm making music with him. I don't know, yeah. just like it just right. hits different. There's there, there's a, there's a clear difference. Yeah. Dude, that's beautiful, bro. I love that analogy too, of no longer bound. You're playing catch with him. Yeah, bro. I literally could just visualize. I could that. tear up. Just oh, yeah, <laughs> dude. maybe a, a new music video drops. You know, <laughs> right? Just no it's just, just <laughs> it's just throwing and then like an invisible like yeah, Catching, a floating a floating glove. Just, yeah, just right. Like <laughs> oh, and that God. might that might be a banger uh, real. <laughs> might be that a banger real. Banger real. <laughs> Well, I don't want to keep you too much longer, but before we close this out, I would be remiss if we didn't talk about your family because I feel like yeah. they're super important to you. Yes. Um, I saw a post that I, I think it was pretty recent of you posting a picture with your family and you were addressing like a comment that was like, why aren't you on why tour right now? Tour? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Like, with my fam. Bro, speak yeah. speak to that, man, because it, it's really, even just today, like just talking about your son and your wife yeah. and everything and sitting on this podcast, I feel like there's such a priority yeah. to you and it's really beautiful to see. Yeah. Um, yeah, they're incredible. I would, I would do anything for them. Uh, I've been on, I've been on some tours, <clears throat> tours before and it's very taxing. It's a lot of time and there's just no world where I would be away from my son for and my wife let me just start there yeah right now in this season there's no way i could be away from my wife for more than like three to four days dang and we haven't um and my son i feel the same way i don't want to miss a single thing Mm. i know i know that i'm going to be 60 years old looking back being like i would whatever let's say i made 200k off of a tour or whatever i would pay 200k right then for one more day with my son i know that for a fact yeah Yeah. so as fun as touring is and and it's probably inevitable like i'll I'll probably do it at some point i would love to to tour around but maybe i'll just wait until you know our home is ready for it you know yeah when when, when bodhi can talk maybe he's like dad i want to go on the road yeah Yeah, we'll do that so bring him out to a couple stops but yeah it's you know it has to do with the, the needs of the family. It's, it's, and, and, and when I say that, when I post that too, I was like, man, I hope, I hope other artists aren't feeling like triggered. And if they are triggered, then that's their own issue. Yeah. Right, right, right. Hey, but yeah. uh, some things work for their family. Like, mm-hmm. like right. someone else's wife might love going on the road. Oh, I'm going to go yeah. sightsee and look around. Like my, my wife personally wants her rooted community and she feels uprooted to leave. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we got to figure that out. Yeah. No, that's beautiful. And speaking Jeez. of your wife, how did how did y'all meet? We met. This is super cool that God did this. Uh, I didn't even mention this, but when I got saved, literally a couple days later, I went on a spring break mission trip with my church, mm-hmm. which was like super uh, weird to me to like go on a. <laughs> it was like an ev- evangelical mission trip to like spread the gospel, like, and I felt like happen. I had like j- you know I just give my life to Jesus, and so I'm like. I'm like, this is pretty, I feel like I need some more experience. And they're like, no, this is perfect. Like, go. no, like you're, you're stoked on it. So yeah. I go just tell people what just happened with you. <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh, the next year I went on that same mission trip. That's where I met her. No way. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Holy she's, about, she's about that life. I need to go on a mission trip. You, I was going to say, bro, you need to go on a mission trip right, <laughs> right now. now. Yeah. 
That's crazy. I have, a, I have a line about that in one of my songs. No way. Yeah. What is it? Uh, okay, that's all right. Uh, met this girl inside the church. She met girls outside the club. Wonder why it never works. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. That's tough. <laughs> That's the yeah, JT wonder why it Whatever never works. <laughs> <laughs> those were personal I ain't going on bars mission trips, directed man. right at JT. Dang, bro, that's crazy. Did, did you that's like fire, when you though. met? Was it like a pickup line involved? Or was it just like yeah? Hey, what was the riz, bro? The Lord told me to. Dude, be it was here one look. That's all it was. <laughs> one look. Yeah, Yo. it was one, one look from her to the you, and she was riz. sold. Or we, <laughs> it was well, what riz? The unspoken riz. The Duke Dennis. No, we we had mad unspoken riz. He was like, hey. Can I give you a massage? Uh, <laughs> that's yikes. what won her over. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> I got so many things running don't through worry, my head bro. right now. Guys, guys, don't worry. His massages, they're pure. They're pure. <laughs> they're pure. Holy pure. hands. Purity. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> God, it's late. <laughs> um, no, we, uh, we were outside in this pavilion, and someone was, like, speaking, and there was, like, you know, probably 150 people. And I just like looked over at her, or maybe I was staring. I don't know. And uh, <laughs> oh, maybe. and she like looked at me, and we made eye contact. And it was, I just we had a whole conversation in two seconds. You just knew with eye con- with eye contact. Yeah, but it wasn't like a stare. It was just it was just like a look, and then like a you know look away or whatever. Right. But it was it was like that's all it took was like I could feel and she could feel, and then uh, we happened to be in a car together because one of her best friends was she, you know you know how you go on a camp. And you come back and everyone hangs out together for oh, like, yeah. like at least like a month and then you kind of right. go with your separate ways. Right. So it was like right after. So everyone's still hanging out. And we were in a car with like her friends because one of her friend's uh, brother was sharing a testimony at church. Somewhere. So we were on Caravan Seat. And like the dynamic on the way to the place was like everyone was talking. And then on the way back, I was sitting with her and we were straight up just chest yes. just oriented. Oh, like, nice. like this is locked the seat in. just yep. locked in. I'd never hit that like body language yeah. with a girl before. Really, like just like yeah. you know, like right. just You're straight like, up, just like like we are right here, in locked in. <laughs> yeah, everyone just doesn't you, matter. You could have like laid two not like pieces of wood on her shoulders and like. <laughs> it's such a such an unesthetic angle to look at with y'all talking to. Each other. <laughs> I don't even know. Oh my gosh. That's um, hilarious. Yeah, and then uh, I told her like maybe the next day that I had feelings for. her. Really? Pretty quick, wow. yeah. And that didn't spook her away, huh? Didn't spook her, no. Dang. Because we had that, we had you that had look. That, yeah, you had that I was like, you remember that, right? You already had it locked <laughs> in. Remember that, right? I promise I'm not weird. Remember yeah. that, right? <laughs> this, yeah. um, Dang, bro. Yeah. That's well, crazy. we like to ask, like, before le- we let you get out of here, we like to ask every guest we have on here um, this question. Uh, what, you got one message to your high school self. What is it? What do you want to say? Oh, man. Give me a second. Take, Take your time, time. man. Dun, dun, dun. We actually said it at the same time. I beat the allegations. He's a big visualizer, so he's literally huh. seeing himself. Yeah. Right. I don't know. I'm picturing myself at a lifetime fitness for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta maybe, right, maybe, 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 maybe I need to revisit yeah, that like therapist or something. <laughs> <laughs> it's certainly not in high school. <laughs> <laughs> um, Dang. Bro, I don't think... For me personally, this is weird. I don't. I wouldn't have any advice because I wouldn't change a single thing about Whoa. my life. Jeez, I could give advice to someone else based yeah. on my experience, but I, I like wouldn't change that, a though. single thing. I like yeah. that. Yeah. Jeez. What What would you say to a, a high schooler? Right to now? a high school student? Yeah. It depends on what they're going through. Right. Generally, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe just that you can. Like you really can do that thing that you like if you if you can if you can see yourself doing something and it's not like super outlandish, like if you can really are like, I could see myself doing it, or even like I could see myself doing it better than this person in this thing, you could you could do it. Wow. Just do it. Just just run it. Don't don't let your fears hold you back. Dang. Yeah. I love that, bro. Dude, I'm glad we waited for that answer because that is that's gonna motivate some kid out there. Yeah, oh yeah, hundred percent. Sure. No question, bro. Yeah, hundred percent. All right, we're about to wrap, but before we go, 2024 yeah. for Forrest Frank. What's coming up? You want to plug anything that's coming out? Yeah. Um, I'm dropping a song every two weeks. 
nice. commitment I made. In 2024? Yeah. Like I'm, putting it out. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I'm making music. By Wednesday, I finish the song. Tuesday, Thursday, my engineer is going to mix it and master it. And uh, oh, also in that, I'm, I'm letting my fans vote which of like demos, what's their favorite idea. Uh -huh. Whoa. And then I upload it and I shoot content the next week comes out and I just do that cycle. So I'm really only making, I'm, I'm trying to compartmentalize so I'm not like yeah. spacey all the time. Whoa. Yeah. Dude, that's So just that stay tuned. Really You'll see. I'm, I'm, every two weeks. I'm going to be posting content like every day. And Jeez. yeah, just get on my, get on my IG if you want to yeah. see what's going on. But. Or not, you know. <laughs> if you don't, then you don't have That's to. That's fine, yeah. No wonder dude, you're not going on tour. Yeah. I know. <laughs> you're old, He's got a pack bro. Schedule. Dude, yeah. It's insane. Yeah, I'm excited to see it, bro. I know, I'm bro. Gonna be that voting. We'll up, dude. That's so. Sick. Some will hit, some won't, and that's okay. You know, who cares, let, bro? let the people decide. One out of every thirteen. Wow, that's crazy, bro. Thank you so much for doing this. I know it was late after Rhythm Night. Yeah, you just sang, but I appreciate hey, it. Bro. It is a is a was... pleasure, honestly, bro. Yeah, thank you for coming on. Feel good. For what? I feel great. This is my first good? podcast, guys. No, it's no, not. No, Straight no up. you're lying. Yeah. What? Straight up, you're lying. How did we not? Well, know how this? did we not know that? And how did we not start with that, bro? <laughs> what? Bro, it's your first pod. No, people like I'm, I'm. I bet there's like some diehard fans that have never even heard my voice. Oh my gosh! Yeah, because you probably don't do a lot of talking. I only talk, like yeah. That. Bro, I'm I, tweaked right. I'm now. honored. That's like so honestly, weird. I'm honored to even like to experience what it's like to like be in the hot seat and like be so important honestly Dude. like y'all are like asking me all these bro, questions i'm like about, like i gotta bro, ask you guys you some questions me? back because this is crazy <laughs> no, no did you, we're geeked you, that you're yeah, even bro, here and really. to know that this is your first podcast because you smashed that dude because it's really cool to just like sit with someone and just because we just want to get into your head because i think Literally. that's the cool part of like the our audience is the people we bring in we're like hey there's something you can learn from this person yeah and so we're just it's our job to just throw you out of your hoops yeah, and, and so i hope it didn't feel too much like too much pressure oh this was awesome oh yes you killed it. Hey, and dude, you're super encouraging, by the way. For real? Super encouraging. Yeah. Y'all are, are all can awesome, you, but I, I, want, I want to say that. Can you <laughs> make my wife know that? Right. <laughs> yeah, can I get there on, can I get on camera? Right. No, for real, bro. Like, it, it really was an honor. Like, I, I think the thing that, like, spoke a lot to, to me, at least, I don't even know, like, what other people are. I never want to kind of be like, this is what you need. But, like, for me, it was just really cool to just hear how how much your family means to you number one and how much like you prioritize that over your purpose because i think so many people do the opposite they're like oh no i'm doing this so that i can mm. take care of my family and you're going no 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 i'm taking care of my family and then that's going to take care of like everything else and yeah. so like that that ministered to me because i think i'm in that kind of season in my life right now and i don't even know if that's for the, this for the party <laughs> yeah <laughs> but, like, we said microwave bro yeah you, know, you know like i'm i'm like in that season right now in my life i'm like navigate and figure stuff out and so like it's really cool to kind of go no like here's someone who is successful and who is following what they feel like god has placed on their heart and they're able to go no this is what's important it doesn't line up with it i'm not doing it and so like yeah so thank you just from me and i know that there's going to be some stuff that other people are going to need to hear as well from you ours can do it wow so, Thanks, dude. I'm honored. That's amazing. Genuinely honored, guys. Yeah, bro. One of the one of the things that I'm like blown away by, just from hanging out with you today, bro, is just like how simple you keep everything, bro. It's like I feel like we can look at people that are successful and like think that everything's so complicated and holy crap, there's so many things to juggle and manage and balance and blase blase. And I feel like you just you keep everything so simple. And that's how you're able to just like focus and but not only focus and be successful, but like actually live a fulfilling life mm. where you feel just like you're you're excited to wake up every yeah. day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that's super dope to just like get a snapshot into that. Obviously wow. we're not even getting close to as much as goes on in your life, but it I feel like it's just like I'm going to do this thing that God's graced me for yeah. and I'm going to keep it simple. Yeah. And as stuff flows, I'm going to put it out and I'm not on anybody's agenda. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm I'm going to be a dad and I'm going to be a husband and whatever, bro. And it's just that it was that's been like inspiring. Thank you, man. 
Well, Thank I you. Yeah, yeah. Let's go around. Anybody else? Come on. Yeah. No, I'm feeling it. Seriously. Yeah. It's it's meaning super late. Yeah. Make sure. Get back to all the Take the food. Go home. So I can tell their time. They have families too. We're like you take care of your family. Uh, now like, they're all like, bro. Justin, your family now. <laughs> <laughs> You're keeping you us here till twelve. Do y'all, yeah. what, how do y'all rap? Y'all say you have like a, a handshake or like? Uh, uh, no, but we. I'm de- I mean, this is your first podcast, so you can start the trend for us now. Oh, man. Yeah. I feel like you, 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 you. You're always coming up with good stuff. What on uh, three? <laughs> what, yeah, what on three? Uh, holy hands on three. <laughs> holy hands. Holy hands on three. I'm with it. I'm with it, bro. <laughs> All right, holy here hands. we go. Elijah, That's actually a there. fire massage, like a Christian massage. I know. Holy hands, bro. Holy, holy hands. hands. Holy hands. Bro, that Ooh. might need to go into that. Ooh. Bro. Never mind. I'm not going to talk about that. <laughs> holy hands. All right. On, on you, three. Buddy. On three. One, two, three. Holy, holy hands. hands. <laughs>